Hello, my name is Veronica Callas Torres, an entomologist. I am currently a postdoctoral research scientist at North Dakota State University. Today's video is on how to monitor European corn borage using hard stack wire traps with pheromone lures in cornfields. Monitoring these moths with pheromone traps help us to determine when these moths are emerging and when to time field scouting in cornfields. These traps are made for monitoring other moths like corn earworms. But we shorten the post to three feet tall because European corn borer likes to hang out and rest on the lower grassy edges of the field corn. Also, to hold the pheromone lure, a three quarter inch binder clip was attached to the inside bottom belt of the trap, just in the center. This looks like a good corn field to monitor for European corn borer because it has a nice grassy edge where traps can be set. The post is hammered into the ground, leaving about two feet of the post above the ground. Then we insert the trap into the post. There are two races of European corn borer moths, the C race and the E race. In North Dakota, the C race is the most common. When handling pheromone lures, nitrile gloves might be worn to avoid cross-contamination between different insect pheromone lures. Pheromone lures for European corn borer are commercially available from insect trapping supply companies. It's important that pheromone lures are stored in a freezer. This helps to maintain their chemical composition and their effectiveness for attracting the targeted insects. When transporting pheromone lures to the field, lures should be stored in a cooler container and ice pack. Two traps are placed at each cornfield. One trap with the C pheromone lure and the other trap with the E race pheromone lure. Traps are spaced about 100 feet apart to avoid cross contamination of the lures during use. To put the pheromone lures in the trap, first put your nitrile gloves on, then open the packet and attach it to the binder clip in the inside bottom belt of the trap. Make sure to have a garbage bag and immediately dispose the pheromone lure packet and then use gloves. Be careful when you are taking your gloves off and avoid touching the trap with used gloves. Repeat this process with a new pair of gloves for every new pheromone lure. After a week, return to the trap and remove the trap top. Count the numbers of European corn borer moths and record the numbers of moths each week. Then put the trap top back when finished. For identification, European corn borer moths are straw color, like pale yellow brown, with brown webby bands on the wings. They have about one inch wing span. The males are slightly smaller and darker. Pheromone traps should be checked at least once a week and lures are changed every two weeks. Thank you and have fun insect trapping. <music>